Well, let's take you straight to the story now, which has been troubling the government for quite some time and has potential of embarrassing the government tomorrow. Just a day before Supreme Court's observations to CBI's admission that its report on coal probe was seen by the law minister, CNN Ivan is learning that the center will say both law minister and the government did nothing wrong. Government stand finalized after the PM met the Attorney General on Sunday. On the 12th of March, the CBI Council had told Supreme Court that CBI's report had not been shared with any political executive. Government is likely to say that any meeting between CBI law ministry that did take place happened before that assurance was given. CBI and its affidavit had said that the law minister and two officials in the Prime Minister's office and coal ministry had seen its first status report. Let's go straight across to our Deputy National Bureau Chief Pallavi Ghosh and find out in terms of uh, what is the defense that's going to be offered by the government. Pallavi, it's rather strange. Government is saying that this council, the, the, the Solicitor General who had made the arguments in Supreme Court had spoken about a date before which they had shown the report to the government executives. Now they're saying that any meeting which took place between the law ministry officials, between the Prime Minister's office and the CBI's investigators did not take place after that assurance was given. Is that effectively the crux of the defense which is being offered by the government? See, the basic allegation against Attorney General Vanwati is of contempt of court. The basic charge against it is that he had spoken and assured the Supreme Court that there would be no so-called interference by the political executive as far as the drafting or the CBI affidavit is concerned. So why did the government go back on this assurance? Why did the law minister, Joint Secretary Cole and the PMO actually meet the CBI director? And that's where the line of defense essentially is going to be coming in from the government. One, there has been no contempt of court. Right. Any meeting which took place between between the CBI director and the law minister and the joint secretaries took place before this assurance given by the attorney general. That's on 12th of March. Right. So therefore, there's been no contempt of court. Second, right. it's going to be an aggressive government pointing out that these are the legal procedures. It's very normal and natural for any law, law minister to give legal inputs as far as the drafting of that affidavit is concerned. Right. And hence, neither the prime minister nor the prime minister's office nor the law minister has done anything wrong. But this is going to be the defense of the government. Okay. Now, this defense of the government may or may not be accepted or may not completely convince the Supreme Court.